very edge of the colony. The main part is at Joko Marsh, but there's scattered outlying individuals. And there's a lot of other birds too. There's piping plovers and... Don, Don how many birds nest out here? Quite a few different things, right? A thousand pair of laughing gulls. There were several other Some, things. Uh, common terns, horses terns, flap a rail, seaside sparrow. Where's the catch? and do one test plot to remind everybody how to do it again, then we'll break up into teams. Great. Does that sound good? Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll, lay the, we'll lay this down flat and pin it with, our, with a short flag. We'll pin this to the ground, and let's say this is the top left corner of the of the plot. We want to run our string from this corner down to the next corner and over to the other corner. So that these are on the inside corner, because the guy that does the aerial count, he lays a ruler down because he can see the edge of the numbers in the whole bit. Then we'll walk through it, marking each nest go through, flag them, go back through counting, double checking, and keeping track of one, two, three egg nests. If you get a four egg nest, just write it in on the bottom. Predators got this nest. I don't know what kind. Um, they drop them on a hard surface and they break, as you can see. They then they land on other shells, and then they can actually get at the inside. So you can. This looks like plenty of activities happen here through the, you know, through the years. Wow. But it's like a learned behavior. It's like we all meet here once a year. Or... They don't seem to understand, like, Shooter. but the laughers just, yeah, they, they totally avoid, totally avoid us. And then, you, you know, I feel like nope. there is a certain, like, natural selection at JFK that the, the ones that know that you don't yeah. fly over there get to pass their genes on, and the ones that don't yeah. know that, don't <laughs> Well, it's really what happens is it's the unlucky, the unlucky, like, young ones, young ones that get, they don't know any better. And they, you got to keep them off the airport. If you're old and wise, you learn that. Right. But the problem with the laughing gulls right. is they don't learn. They don't learn. Yeah, they, so all you can do is just control the population. But there must be ones that, if they live to be old, it means that they've somehow avoided that airspace, or they've just, right? Or by chance. Well, maybe. you know, the reason they're going that way is because there's there's anthropogenic food over there, 
you know, there's French fries. And <laughs> it's not part of the wild. Though. French fries and hot dogs. I mean, we found like chicken wings and ribs. They go over there to get some good free food, French but they're fries. crossing the airport, and, yep. and that's just really dangerous. There were shooters uh, all the time, right? They're full time. Just May through. Uh, May through August. Well, Don, Don said the population got to 15,000 and it's now at 10, and it would be up in the 20s or more yeah. if it hadn't been for the it's, shooting. It's a very... you got to keep it at 10 to 12, right. no more than that, something like right. that. Right. right. And I think the, Thousand. Now, the numbers now, when they first started shooting, I mean, they would shoot hundreds of birds a day. Yeah. They were and we're, we're only now, like, we'll generally shoot, depending on the day, we'll generally shoot maybe... 20 to 20 to 50 or something like that a day. Yeah, yeah the population's dropped dramatically. And, yeah. and it's it well that and, and it's stabilized. I, it's it's just yeah it's gotten to the point where not, there's not as many birds flying that yeah. way because they're getting. I mean yeah, I think they'd rather eat the food out here. Well why don't they eat these flies? I don't know. I, I wish they would. I can't remember a year with as bad of flies as this one. See you back there. Okay. See you later.